Even though I know he won't be mad at me, I'm still afraid to tell him that my coffee is too hot. The Roost is one of my favorite places to chill in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's a really great spot that we all know and love. You can head in there to grab a coffee from Brewster, maybe see some of your favorite villagers, and even other special characters in the game. One thing that you might not have known about the Roost though is that it actually has a pretty intricate NPC schedule. Like I said, sometimes you'll see NPCs pop up in the Roost and it might seem like they just come and go as they please, but it's actually a lot more complicated than that. In fact, this schedule makes it super easy to miss some of these characters, which also means you'd miss out on some really unique interactions and some amazing dialogue which is amongst the best in the entire game in my opinion. So, in this video, I'm going to be taking a more detailed look into the secret NPC schedule for the Roost. First of all though, I have to give a huge thanks to Alexander Molden, whose research on this schedule has proven invaluable this video, so huge thanks to them. So, as I mentioned, all of the different NPCs which can come to the Roost have their own set schedule of when they're due to appear. Some NPCs can be found pretty randomly, whereas others will always appear during set times. For example, Daisy May will always appear in the Roost after 12pm on a Sunday. This, like a lot of other NPCs, is related directly to when she works. Effectively, a lot of the characters are using the Roost as a place to come after they've had a busy shift. And here, they'll actually open up to you more than they would anywhere else in the entire game. There is so much unique dialogue in the Roost that I'm willing to bet most players still haven't discovered yet. I definitely am not exaggerating when I say there are probably hundreds and hundreds of lines of dialogue for all of these special characters in the Roost, and some really great interactions that you would never see anywhere else. It's worth noting that these seem to be unique to when you invite them with an amiibo as well, so that is something else worth considering if you're trying to get the most out of the game. Most of the other traveling merchant characters who appear on your island on random days, for example characters like Leaf and Kix, can also appear in the Roost after their shift finishes. What is really interesting though is it seems like Sahara is not a part of this and even if she appears on your island that day, she won't come into the Roost as a visitor, which is honestly really strange and I don't know why they decided to exclude her from this. The Able Sisters are other characters who like to come and chill in the Roost before or after work. For example, you can see Sable pop up in the Roost after 10pm which is a great opportunity to chat to a character who already has a ton of really great dialogue and interactions in the game and series. Mabel is a little bit different though, she'll actually come in before her work starts, so I believe that's from about 6am until 8am. This basically highlights that you'd need to play at all kinds of different times if you wanted to see every single Roost visitor. That means that if you've been playing at a set time every single day, like I feel like a lot of people do, then you could definitely completely miss out on a lot of these characters. And yet, these aren't even some of the most interesting ones that you can find. First though, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. Before we continue, I wanted to say that this video is sponsored by Disney Emoji Blitz. You can download the game for free using my link in the video description. I'm also hosting a giveaway for a $25 Nintendo Switch eShop card which you could even use to play Happy Home Paradise if you don't have it. Disney Emoji Blitz is unlike any other match-free game. Each emoji has its own unique power-ups and you control what to use, letting you strategize with each game that you play. I love the Mandalorian so Mando is my favorite emoji and he's just one of many to collect. You can also use the emojis that you collect in-game to text your friends which is really cool. The game is also great for collectors, and if you enjoy collecting emojis, new ones are added every week and month. There's also different emojis with different categories like silver, gold, rainbow exclusive, and so many more that you'll really enjoy. Use my link down in the description to download the game. The link works as a creator code, so anything you spend within the game will help support me and the content that I make here. I'll also be hosting a giveaway on Instagram to reward you for playing the game. I'll be giving away a $25 Nintendo Switch eShop card. To enter, all you have to do is download the game using my link, get to level 20, screenshot that and send it to me on Instagram at Crossing Channel. If you've entered one of these giveaways in the past, you will need to get to level 25 as a new challenge. And once again, thank you to Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring. Like I mentioned, some of the characters that can visit the Roost are completely random. Two of these are Resetti and Don Resetti. And although it is a random day they can appear, it will still be between 2pm and 4pm. It seems like they kind of fill in the spaces of the other characters who are guaranteed to appear in the roost when they do visit your island. 
This interaction is especially interesting because as far as I know, these are the only NPCs who can randomly visit your roost that don't actually appear anywhere else on your island. That does mean that you'd never see characters like Dr. Shrunk and Gracie, for example, that can appear via Amiibo sit down for a coffee on the roost counter. The reason why they do appear, however, is because they do technically work on our island like other characters do, they just work behind the scenes. They are of course in charge of the helicopter rescue service, we just can't see them, so I find it really neat that they've actually been added as a part of this schedule. Some characters will only appear after events. For example, Flick and CJ will only appear four times in the entire year after the bug off and fishing tournament. Once the tourneys are fully shut down, you can expect to see these characters pop up into the roost for a quick coffee, and you can get some incredibly unique and special dialogue from them that feels really cool since, like I said, it's only four times in an entire year. We're so used to seeing the same old dialogue again and again from these characters when we talk to them in resident services, for example, but seeing them in the roost, you get a completely different side from them that you would have never had before the roost was added to the game. I definitely think it's underappreciated just how much unique dialogue there is for these characters. I kept talking to Flick and CJ thinking I was going to run into the same dialogue after a set amount of time, but new dialogue just kept on coming which was really really great. Another character who pops up into the roost after an event, this time I believe after midnight which makes it one of the latest characters you can see in the game is KK Slider. This will of course happen every single Saturday. Once again, I definitely feel like this is a character that a lot of people could miss because I imagine there's tons of people who don't play the game past midnight. It is really cool to see KK Slider in the roost again though after he was previously there in Wild World and City Folk actually performing, and he does even mention this in his dialogue too, which is super cool. Although I do have to say it is really, really weird just seeing the naked KK Slider sitting there. Another really special visitor who I've mentioned in my videos quite a few times in the past is Celeste, who will appear in there from 5 to 7 p.m. if there's a meteor shower going on that day. This is a really great way of being able to tell in advance if she's going to visit your island that day, so you can go and talk to her outside and get a new DIY recipe. It's nice to see her in the museum again as well after she had such a big role here in previous games, something that is definitely missed in Animal Crossing New Horizons in my opinion. Some characters will never sit up at the counter and you'll only be able to see them come in to grab a takeaway coffee. These are usually characters who have really important busy roles in the game, for example Timmy and Tommy, Isabel, Orville, Tom Nook. So sadly they can't really take much time off to grab a coffee up at the counter, although I do really like the fact that now we can actually see them outside of resident services. I feel like that was something people were asking for for quite a while, and although maybe people would have preferred to see them wandering around the island itself, I still think it's super cool that they can pop up into the roost. Like I mentioned with Sahara never appearing in the roost, I believe some other characters won't as well. This includes ones like Wisp and Gulliver. I guess it's the fact that they actually wander around your island rather than staying in a set place at resident services for example, so for some reason they've decided that they can't appear in the roost. You can of course invite them in via an amiibo, but you won't see them up at the counter, which is a little bit of a shame honestly. On screen, I'm just going to leave a quick look at the comment originally left so that you can get a better idea of the schedule if you're still confused about things. But let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the secret roost schedule for NPCs in Animal Crossing New Horizons. How many of these characters have you encountered and what are some of your favourite interactions? If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know that you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing video. I want to say thank you to these channel members for supporting me and the content that I make here. Their contributions allow me to keep making videos. If you want to support these videos and get some great perks for doing so, like access to our members only Discord, exclusive Bob emojis and live streams, and much more, then click the join button down below the video or the link in the description.